Benji and Elisa in training. No more bullshit. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Mike Hambrick. Staffer Benji Bronk and his girlfriend, or not, Elisa Jordana, book to interview Howard Stern on Tuesday. As the pressure builds to the historic moment, the pair took to the streets to hone their interviewing skills. And Lisa G was there. We're on the streets of New York City to test out your interviewing skills. Nervous? I know I should be, but I'm not. I'm extremely excited. I cannot wait. Bring it on. Let's find a victim, shall we? Oh, yeah, lucky person. Not a victim, a lucky person. <laughs> Can we talk to you, please? Just ask you a couple questions. Are you are you a family? How are you, how are you all related I'm to each other? We're friends. Um, we're here for Rachel's 40th birthday. Do you have any uh, birthday wishes that we could grant you? Yeah, I would love it to snow heavily. You want to admit to us about your night with Harry? Yeah, I don't fancy Prince Harry. Right. Well, you're in America now, the land of freedom, so you and Harry can get together here. How about uh, William? Who would you rather be with, William or Harry? It's like Mary Shag or murder. Or Wait, did you hear what she calls it? Yeah, Mary, Mary Shag, Shag or what's the other? Here they call it F, Mary, F, F Mary or Kill. Shag, yeah. Mary or yeah, Shag. So William, Harry right. or Jay-Z? Can I take option D, which is none of the above? No, you can't have that. And how are they doing with you in their questions? They're fine. Okay. What have we learned so far today? Intimate. We need them to be like intimate with us. The girl was laughing. She was having fun. This is our practice. This is it. It's Tuesday. But this is a different environment. I adjust to the environment I'm in. The countdown continues to the historic moment. Benji Howard one-on-one. It happens in 5,490 minutes, more or less. Follow the Howard Stern Show on Twitter. Twitter. Go to twitter.com slash third show. It's not always easy being a whackpacker slash superhero. Witness underdog lady continually harassed about not coming back to the Stern Show. Now, Saturday, I was in Wilmington, Delaware. And how was that? Well, it was okay, but uh, one man stepped forward to have his picture taken with me, and then he asked, uh, when are you going to be on the show again? What show did he mean? He meant Howard's. So I told him to go away. Oh, boy. And then and then on Sunday, um, I, I was in Bridgeton, New Jersey, and there were still some people yelling Howard Stern at me as I went by. There was one woman who was screaming at the top of her voice with all her strength, I love Howard Stern. It's been 22 years, nearly 23 now. Underdog lady. Just can't understand why people don't just move on. Another Howard 100 News Brief at the top of the hour, or as close as we can get. Howard 100.